Back to another episode of Fishing with Flair. Today I have a Chatterbait Fishing 101 video. As you can see, I have all my favorite Chatterbaits laid out. These are all New Tech Lures Crazy Jigs. Um, this is the majority of the colors they have. They have a handful of more colors, but these are my go-to colors that I use um, throughout the year. I don't really vary much from any of these. Um, I have my rod set up, and I'll tell you my rod reel line, and I'll go through the baits, the colors, the uh, trailers, the skirts, um, and just tell you when and why and how and where I use them all. Um, so I'll start off with the rod and reel. This is a, um, a Denali Rosewood. It's going to be upside down for you guys, I know, but that's how I have to have my rod face. It's a 610 medium heavy spinnerbait rod, which means it has a moderate fast action. Um, I have it spooled up with 17 pound vicious um, elite fluorocarbon. And this is just a regular loose speed spool. It's not a tournament MG. I used to have an MG on it, and then I put that MG on one of my jig rods. Um, but I'm going to buy another MG for this one um, probably in next month. Um, they're just a little bit smoother. They're a little easier to cast and stuff like that. But the regular speed tools work just fine. Um, so that's my go-to setup. And I tie the San Diego jam knot um, with that in case you guys were wanting around knots. And I'll start off with the colors. This is uh, a bluegill color. It's a Z-Man colored skirt with um, a black. This is That's a Blitz Crazy Jig. There's a difference. I'll lay them um, side by side. This is an original Crazy Jig and a Blitz Crazy Jig. You can see the head shape's different. Um, <clears throat> they both work really well. I like, uh, I like the Blitz because the hook is bigger. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, but the hook on the original Crazy Jig is not that big compared to this one. This one's much bigger. Um, and the head's a little different. This one will come through. Um, it'll c deflect off branches and stuff a little bit better than this one, but they both work pretty well. Uh, the trailer is a Gambler Lures, a little easy and copper field color, or I go to like a green pumpkin color. But I'm just trying to, I like the lighter belly because it imitates a bluegill a little bit better. And I like to throw the bluegill colored. Um, anytime I see a lot of bluegill or there's no shad, um, around the spawn, I like to throw a bluegill, and if it's clear, clear water, and I'm trying to be as natural as possible, I usually go to a bluegill color. Now I'll go to a black and blue. Um, this is the original Crazy Jig in black and blue, and this is the Blitz Crazy Jig in black and blue. Um, as you can see, they're both pretty similar. Uh, black and blue skirts, black and blue flaked uh, gambler lures, a little easy trailers and this one I have sharpie I sharpied the blade which I usually do to all my black and blue and and bluegill colored uh, chatterbaits because it just looks a little bit more natural than the big flashy blade on the head of it and like I said the same thing with the hooks the hooks are a little bit different on these two and uh, this act this one has a little bit more action the original crazy jig has a little bit more erratic side to side action than the than the blitz crazy jig like I said they both work and I throw the black and blue almost all the time if it's really muddy water if it's like if the water looks like it's like chocolate milk that's the color i'll throw because it stands out the most compared to the rest of these but i have seen this work in clear water um so don't be afraid to throw it in clear water and then here are all the shad ones that's a blitz crazy jig and shad there's the original crazy jig and smoke shad uh, blitz crazy jig and that one i call crappie color but i think that's called um something something shad uh this one is the original crazy jig and blue uh, blue shad and this is white and chartreuse blitz crazy jig um, trailers this is a this is a easy it's not a big easy it's not a little easy it's a full size gambler easy trailer this is a little bit bigger beefier profile and then this is a little bit smaller this one I like to throw in there's crappie um, <clears throat> or Tennessee shad uh, this is probably my go-to color white and chartreuse just for some reason it seems to work um, day in day out whatever whatever the forage that they're feeding on seems to work pretty well um, but they all work um, I've caught them you know with the white the white and white chartreuse are probably my go-to baits and then if I see some more crappie or darker colored chat I'll go with this and and vary it throughout and as you can see I bend the blades on these you can see the difference between the, the two blades this one I bent out with a pair of pliers it just helps the the chatterbait stay down a little better if it's bent down um, then, the, then the water pushes down on the bent part and keeps it kind of down. It won't make your lure dive, but it just keeps it right where you want it to keep it. It, it, it just makes it not rise quite as much. Um, it still has a little bit of lift. Um, and then I wanted to talk about a couple different trailers. So like I said, the Gambler, Little Easy is probably my number one trailer. And then every once in a while you can throw this one. I think this is a Booyah, like um, Twin Tail or something like that, um, which you could throw on there as well. That's just a little bit smaller profile and has a little bit more action. It has a kicking action like this. Um, 
that you could throw. Both of them work, but I like the bigger swim bait profile because it imitates one big fish and you seem to get a little bit bigger bites if you're imitating a big shad or a big bluegill versus this, which I think this might imitate a couple of them kind of hanging out together, you know, swimming around more like a spinner bait. Um, that's just a smaller, more finesse profile. If, if you see these guys getting short striked or you're catching smaller fish, I would definitely go with something like this or if you're just not getting many, many bites, um, slimming it down a little bit. Um, seems to work pretty well. So I think I covered everything um, as to, oh, okay, so I'll go into like where I throw these. Um, above grass works pretty well. Um, I found the original New Tech Crazy Jig to work better through grass than the Blitz, but the Blitz works better through wood and rock. Um, so if you're looking at their website, uh, keep that in mind. Um, around grass, wood, rock, anywhere you throw a spinner bait, anywhere you throw a square bill, and it, they're extremely weedless. I get this hung up maybe once in an entire day of fishing it and uh, you can throw it in the thickest of stuff and you're not going to get hung up and uh, like I said they work pretty much in any condition uh, any water type these are all the different colors for water clarity like I said um, just depending on your forage usually is when I go between bluegill and shad if there's shad in the lake I'd go shad if there's bluegill I'll go bluegill um, sunny days cloudy days it doesn't matter um, just pick it up and just throw it, you know, around rocks, bump it up against wood, stuff like that, and you'll get a lot of bites. So if you're looking for a chatterbait, definitely go check out the New Tech Lures Crazy Jig. By far the most uh, best crazy jig on the market because of the guide arms here. Um, it makes it extremely weedless, and also uh, the cam surfaces, which makes uh, you hook you hook all your fish in the roof of the mouth, um, the way the head is designed. Uh, when you pull it, it rotates the hook and hooks them right in the roof of the mouth, which is where you want it because it's the strongest part and they won't come off. So that's it um, for Chatterbait Fishing 101. If I missed anything or um, hey, you have any other questions about Chatterbait Fishing, go ahead and comment below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. And that's it. Thanks for watching this episode of Fishing with Flair and thanks for watching.